Hello there, great to be with you and a very warm welcome to Cruising with the Stars with me, Debbie Jones. Now today I've got a, an incredibly talented man with so many instruments and a wonderful voice, multi-instrumentalist and vocalist, Steve Davis. Steve, thanks for coming today. Oh, you've had a long welcome. drive. Where have you driven from? A little bit of a drive today, Debbie. Yeah. Where from? Five hours from uh, sunny Torquay. <gasps> Sunny it's a bay. long, long way, long way away. Bit of a drive, it? yes. It is, yeah, but yeah. I'm worth it, aren't I? Absolutely. Just like L'Oreal, ah, other shampoos are available. <laughs> 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 but no, it's, it's lovely of you to come here because I know that you are, when I, when I looked at your CV, you are permanently booked back to back. Um, I mean, mm. I, I know you're a multi-instrumentalist, multi and what we're going to do, just quickly, is have a look at a very quick clip of some of the stores sure, sort of yeah, things you do. So here we yeah. go. a lot of noise out of a little instrument, don't you? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah there's so a, what were those two called? Well, they, they, were, they were Greek tunes, Greek, on, yeah. played on a Greek bazooki. Yeah. Um, the essence of my show yeah. is, is that I play music from around the world right. on the actual ethnic instrument of that country, you see. And that's, right. That's, so how that's, long have you been doing, doing that for? Uh, this particular show, about four years. Yeah. Four years, yeah. And is it very yeah. popular? Yes, seems yeah. to be, yeah. People did do did you have to um, music like kiss a lot of frogs, as they say, before you found it? Did, did you do a, another act before you found that this was what looks like the perfect formula? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, um, for many years I was a guitar vocalist. Yeah. Simply strum, strum, Get sing, sing. Pretty woman. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> you know, every night, uh, dancing and stuff. And yeah. I still do some of that in, yeah. in, in parts of uh, my show. It depends where I'm playing. Um, uh, for a long time, I was uh, uh, just a, a hired guitarist yeah. in bands and things for many, many years. Yeah. Um, I progressed. I had my own band on the, on the ships for quite a few years. Yeah. I, uh, I worked in a lot of nice places, a lot of nice, nice venues, and mm. worked as a band leader, as an MD. But the, the cabaret, th the, the thing I'm doing now, the cabaret show, Yeah. Um, I put it together really because I, I, I've seen, over the years, I've seen all sorts of things, you know, all sorts of yeah. uh, people. And uh, I've also worked in, in some peculiar places, like, like I used to work on a Greek ship. Oh, right. And, and I had a good friend who played a bazooki, a Greek bazooki. Yeah. Um, so I got a, 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 an interest in that from him, from, yeah. from Yanni, he was called Yanni. Yanni. He was Greek, but he lived in London. Yeah. <laughs> um, you uh, made uh, me want a Greek meal tonight now. And do you know, I'm thinking kebabs and tzatziki and everything. Oh, You've only got to hear a bit of that tiddly yeah. tiddly and I want to smash a plate. Oh, it's yeah. marvellous. Oh, well, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what we get you doing in the show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the other things like, um, I used to work on a Russian ship many yeah. years ago. What is a Russian... Guitar, banjo, whatever oh, it is. Well, the Russian instrument is this, Debbie. It's a, it's a balalaika. Balalaika. And it's, um, it's a funny little thing. It's got, a, you know, it's only got three strings. Yeah. It's only very, it's only, only it's very unsubstantial, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, it's quite awkward to play. Is it? Because it's got, it's only got three strings. Two of them are the same. Right. And then it's got a high one there, and and a lot of the time you're playing drone, droning notes. sound for a little instrument. Yeah, yeah, it's a lovely instrument. Um, yeah. Well, the Russian people like them anyway. But they do, but they do. <laughs> so, it, it actually does sound very Greek, doesn't it? Well, I would hope it sounds more Russian. Well, it does sound more <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, what, so what is the Greek one? Is that the one you've just kicked? <laughs> no, the, the Greek one's this one. It's the, the Greek, Greek bazooka, that. And, uh, right. Um, that's, that's completely different. It's got a round back and it's got eight yeah. strings as well, four courses. Yeah. Yes. Quite a nice sound there. Oh, lovely. It almost brings so. the sunshine into <laughs> the studio. Oh, yeah. And what's this little one to your left leg there? Uh, this is a mandolin. Right. And 
Um, well, Italian. where's Amanda? Oh, Italian, Italian and, right. And Irish as well. So Irish people play mandolin. There's quite a lot of Irish music done on, on a mandolin. I know that. So, um, and it's two strings. Very well, this is, this is like the Greek bazooka. It's got four courses of two. Yeah. Uh, it's tuned completely different. All these instruments are tuned very differently. Right. So that makes it a bit tricky for me when I'm, say, when I'm performing because yeah, I have to. Uh, yeah, where where am I? With which instrument I'm playing? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's four of you know several instruments that I play during yeah. my show. Normally I do about six six instruments in yeah. the evening. Play the electric guitar as well. I do a yeah. lot of shadows music. Uh -huh. uh, well, well, some actually, shadows music. Saying about shadows, I think uh, Dan, we've got a clip here. We've got a clip right, here yeah. of you in full flight, and I think okay. you started off with the shadows. Take okay, a look at this. Okay. Yeah. Sure. the way you morphed into yourself there. That was, that was a bit <laughs> scary, wasn't it? So that's just a little example. Where were you? Can you remember what venue that um, was? That was a hotel down in Torquay. Right. Um, one of the many, many hotels that are down there I that uh, are playing. And uh, yeah, it wasn't a particularly good night that night, but it was, <laughs> it was uh, yeah, an example of what it I do. Was fine. It was fine. It was good. <laughs> now, you, I heard you sing, and you've got a good voice as well. Which came mm. first, the guitar or the singing? Oh, I started out... Um, I started out as a guitarist. Yeah. Now, there's a story to my singing actually. When when I was 20, when I when I was 20, I became a professional guitarist when I was 20. Yeah. I decided I'm going to go for it. I'm going to join a band and I'm yeah. going to go and see the world. And that's exactly what I did. The first one of the first jobs we had were were doing the the German bases, yeah. the army camps oh, in Germany, right. just like the Beatles did yeah. all those years ago. Exactly the same. We went out there with a. a, a, a Broken down old transit. How band. many of you were there? Five. Five, five of us. Yeah. yeah. Um, we had a we had a girl singer. Yeah. Now in those days, we're talking ooh, what thirty years ago, perhaps. Yeah. Um, you had to do five forty-fives a night. Oh, you're not yeah. kidding me. No, no. Five forty-five minutes. Just like the Beatles did. You, you learn your in you Hamburg. learn your trade. Yeah. You know. Um, of course, consequently, the girl singer we had. After a few weeks, Throat. she was shot. Yeah. yeah. So who's going to sing? Yeah. Muggins here. Ah, so so right. that's how I got into singing because I had to. Yeah. I, I had to sing because there was no, nobody else in the band had a voice. Yeah. Uh, so it and was necessity in, it, as the mother of yeah. invention. Yeah. yeah. You had so, to do. so that's how I started singing. Um, and these days, I, 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 you know, I sing pop songs and, yeah. and ballads and. Yeah. Um, I got out of the the guitar vocal thing yeah purely to to do the cabaret work that the instruments because right. it's more interesting for me yeah and it's a it's a very interesting show it's not just instrumental as you can see there's a lot of comedy pattern between yes. as well which, yeah which you don't see here yeah um but the singing is something 
I call it a necessary evil. Right. Because right. there are singers out there who are yeah. much, much better than me. No, course. but you've got a very pleasant, very but, pleasing voice. Well, people say that, yeah. you see. So I, I stuck with it, and, and uh, as you say, people come to me and say, oh, that's a nice voice you've got. Yeah. Perhaps not the best, and perhaps not a, a Broadway voice, but yeah. it's, a, it's a good pop voice, yeah. and uh, it, it caters for most yeah. most things. Wh know. Which of your instruments do you enjoy playing the most? Oh, out these. Um, I think the bazooka is quite good fun. Really? Yeah, the Greek stuff's quite good yeah. fun. In fact, a few a few months ago, I I, um, I learnt a lot of Greek songs yeah. to do a Greek night at a, a, a Greek restaurant. Yeah. They wanted a Greek bazooka player. Yeah. My agent rang me and said, "Can you do a Greek yeah. night? I can do a Greek night." Yeah. Um, and and and, and uh, so I learnt all these Greek songs on the yeah. bazooka, and it was a fantastic night. And brilliant. And we, we had uh, oh know, lovely. So I think the Greek bazooka sounds good. It sounds yeah. nice, and the music's very interesting. Greek music's very well, interesting. Well, I tell you what, we're going to take another listen to some more after this. Hello there, welcome back. Today I'm chatting to multi-instrumentalist and not a bad voice either, Steve Davis. <laughs> right, tell me about your childhood. Musical childhood, loads of brothers and sisters. Were you like the Von oh, wow. Trapp family? Um, quite a large family. I've, I've got uh, two sisters and a brother. Yeah. Um, not at all musical, really? I've got to say. I think the only musical uh, connection with my family is my, my mother's sister plays piano. Right. And that's the only one, as far as I can tell, that, that uh, well, that's it, yeah. as far as I know. So when you're a little boy, mm. you know, sort of infants and then mm. primary school, what, what were you pushed towards or what, what did you enjoy doing? Were you into sport? Were Playing you... marbles, conkers. Marbles, yeah. so you <laughs> certainly not music. Really? I mean, I didn't, I didn't pick a guitar up until I was 12. Yeah. And then, even then, I put it down again until I was yeah. 15. It wasn't until I was 15 yeah. that I really you know, a teenager yes. into the heavy metal, yeah, the, yeah. the rainbow thing. Go on, was your, did you, didn't you love Since You've Been Gone? Oh, rainbow. fantastic, yeah. Oh, used, Since You've Been Gone. On my I first band, it. we used to do that song, in fact. Did you? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you see, we're, um, you look younger than me, but we must be about the same age group. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure we're both quite young, aren't we? Yes, I think so, at heart, anyway. Uh, but but um, rock music was a big influence in yeah. my, my guitar playing. I, I, I love the, the old bands like. Thin Lizzy and yeah. Lane Bowen. Yeah. Um, Aerosmith. Uh, yeah, all those rock bands. Oh, I, I, I love yeah. them all. So at 15, I decided to knuckle down and, and learn to play properly. Right. So it took me three years. When I was 18, you I got my first... You were at school then, were you? Well, uh, f when I was 15. When I was 16, yeah. uh, now in those days, you didn't get shuffled off to university like you do no, these days. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it wasn't unheard of, but it was expected of you to go and get a job. Yes. So I went off to work and I worked for um, British Rail. Yes! Oh, yeah. what did you do I, there? I had an apprenticeship for uh, four years. Yeah. Did four years. Doing what? Making seats for the trains. <laughs> like an upholsterer? I was an, uh, yeah, I was an yeah. upholsterer, yeah. A trimmer, they call them, a yeah. vehicle coach. But wasn't it, wasn't it funny in the... Well, it's not funny in those days, Steve. You went wherever there was a job. You, mm. you, you're right. You didn't just decide to be a full-time student unless you were immensely clever, and then you went to. Didn't uni. even didn't even occur to my family because no. I come from a, a, quite a working-class yeah. area, Doncaster. Yeah. Um, mines everywhere, of course, yeah. and, and industry, and not really thought of to go and, and study. Yeah. Um, so 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 no, it were you know, and, and at sixteen, I actually wanted to be a carpet fitter. I thought right. I, I quite fancy being a carpet fitter, well, so I went around all these carpet shops trying to get a job, but nobody gave me a job. Yeah. British Rail were taking apprentices, yes. um, so I, I did that. And the next best, best thing was to be an upholsterer. Yes. Oh so gosh. I did a four-year apprenticeship, and yeah. I, I finished when I was twenty, and, yeah. and, and off you, I went. Did you get your city and guilds? Oh, I got all that. Year? I've got all my my documents. You're yeah, a clever yeah. lad, you are. Never used well. them in my life. No. But <laughs> apart from yeah. those four years, but. Yeah. Nevertheless, they were there to. Yeah. Um, I just thought it'd be nice to finish it anyway. Yeah. But uh, by the time I was 18, I was very proficient on the guitar. I was in my first band. Right. And what I was thought, your first band called? Oh, Black Rose. Black Rose. Yeah, no. that was taken from a Thin Lizzy album. Yeah. In fact, and we was a club band. Yeah. Um, playing rock music. Yeah. Essentially, and in those days, big club circuit, massive clubs yes. around Yorkshire. Sheffield. Yeah. Oh, we used to yes. go to we used to go to North East and do ten day runs, oh. you know. <laughs> Sunday afternoon. Yep. 
20 year old, well, 18 year old lad I was then, yeah. Sunday afternoon, in the dressing room with all the, the strippers. Of course, of course. In the North Sunday East, that used, that's yeah. what used to happen. That's it, be it. <laughs> Sadly no more, sadly yeah. no more. But um, it was a good training ground because big clubs, big sound. Were you professional you by then? No, we, uh, at 18 I was semi-professional. I started to work. Yeah. Uh, but we used to go off playing at the weekends in the yeah. clubs. What two, was it? What, what, what job or what decided you to just ditch British Rail upholstery? And actually oh, strike because, out. Oh, because I just I love guitar playing so much. Yeah. I love music, and I realised that that was my vocation to yeah. to, to be a. But a I musician. see here you've got, which is very impressive, Royal School of Music, mm. grade one to eight, which oh, we're yeah, talking yeah. about, you know, degree level really, uh, in theory, harmony, mm. and guitar mm. performance. When did you take those? Mm. Um, yeah, strangely, I didn't take them until I was. About 22, 23. Because right. they're I'd been, hard. I'd been on the road for three years as a professional. I'd been, I think I came back from South Africa yeah. and did, did those. Mm. I did those grades. I, I, I took a, a year out. I went to music college. To Which just, one did you go to? Well, I went to... Um, uh, it was London College of Music, yeah. but through High Melton in Doncaster. Yes. Um, and I, I, I had a bee in my bonnet about if I'm a professional musician, I should have all the certificates yeah. like I... Like I am an upholsterer, yeah. so yeah. so I had a little bit of a, yeah. uh, a problem with not having any any, yeah. any training really. So yeah. I sat down and, and trained, uh, and that was when I, I really got into the classical guitar playing as well. Right. I had some wonderful teachers. Well, actually, you've got your classical guitar here. Do you want to grab mm. it and make sure it's still in tune because it's so mm. hot in the studio at the moment? Sure. And um, you've got a couple mumbling, of mumbling couple of songs that you're going to uh, play for <coughs> us during your time here. Is it, is it still in tune? Sounds good. It's to good me. enough. So you're going, <laughs> <Jazz. laughs> you're going to warm your fingers up now with Romanza. Here we go. Thank you. Let's hear it from the gallery, please. <laughs> right. Oh, they're all cheering out there. That was that was uh, so gorgeous. Well, I I play. Um, I'm fortunate enough, apart from doing my my uh, cabaret work uh, yeah. as a, an instrumentalist, I, I sometimes get booked to do weddings and yeah. and functions and things yeah. where where there the, the may be you know people sat having a meal or yeah. champagne cocktails yeah. and things, and they stick me in the corner yeah. and I just play that sort of music all oh, night and and, it, and it's lovely. It's, it makes a change for me because yeah. I do enjoy uh, playing the, the classical guitar. Yeah. It's a bit more demanding to be honest with you than, than the other stuff. Well, it is. Um, it is. Uh, I mean, the, there's. The 
There's more, there's more strings and they're all different for a kick-off. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, the technique with the, with the hands yes. is a, a, quite, quite strenuous. Oh, no, um, do you know, I could sit and listen to classical guitar all mm. night. I used to sing with a brilliant classical guitarist called Brendan McCormick, right. who used to organise jazz festivals and everything. Oh, and wow. he was, like yourself, who's absolutely superlative, mm. sadly passed away. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's a lovely, a voice and guitar just to... Mm. Uh, unplugged, mm. I, I think, is just wonderful. Well, when I was in South Africa years yeah. ago, um, I had a fine uh, classical guitar teacher there. Yeah. And I actually got a job um, when I left the band. I was in a band over there, but when I, when yeah. I left the band, I, I worked in a, uh, a little restaurant and, and purely guitar, classical guitar yeah. and voice. And I used, to, I used to do covers of Billy Joel songs and, right, yeah. and Simon and Garfunkel and yeah. that sort of thing. So the finger technique came in handy for, for that yes, sort of music. Of and, and it is, it's a lovely thing. But, but sadly, there's not many, not many gigs around for just no. a guitarist and a, classical, and a singer, you know. No, um, no. Everything booked these days is quite... Um, it's either cabaret or it's, yes. or it's, it's for yeah. dancing. Or, yeah. So delicate work and delicate yes. lounge yeah. type work is far and few between, I think. It is, but it just enhances an experience so much. If I go for a meal into mm. a nice restaurant mm. and there is a guitarist, a classic, I would go back again just to hear the guitarist. Oh, it's wonderful, Because it's yeah. peaceful. It's but how lovely. many restaurants do have a guitarist yeah, these days? Yeah, not they, an awful, they don't not pay the an money, awful see, lot, so. unfortunately, you're right. Um, you say you were in uh, South Africa. Mm. What? How old were you when you went there? I think I must have been about uh, 22. I think. Yeah. Something like that. And what? What contract was it? How did you get that job? Well, um, I was working with a band in Yorkshire around the club circuit at that time, and there was a very popular band in those days yeah. uh, called Radiation. They mm. were quite a big um, club band. Yeah. Uh, but the, it was at the time when all the robotic dancing was going oh, on. Oh. Uh, it was uh, the modern romantic yeah. period, Spandau Ballet, <laughs> that's it, all that. I'm lot. robotic yeah. dancing, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> and and um, they had a, uh, they, they secured a contract for South Africa to go and work in the, for Southern Suns Hotels. Yeah. Um, the trouble is half their band didn't want to go. Right. So. And how long was I'll the contract go. for? <laughs> oh, it was. Um, first one was for nine months, I believe. Oh, yeah. who would not want to go? Hmm. I, I don't know. You know, yeah. perhaps wives, girlfriends, yeah. whatever. They didn't want to. Well, you weren't gloriously so. unattached at that time. I was at that time. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, you, what, are you yeah. gloriously unattached now, or are you? Uh, uh, sadly, yes. Ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> have you got any children? I have. I've got little Giles. He's and how old is he's, he? He's he? eleven. Is, and is yeah. he musical? Yes, he is actually. Yeah, yeah. What a he's, great teacher he's, that um, be, though. He's a very good singer. <gasps> Love. And he's learned to play the ukulele. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, eat your ass out. I know. All I those know. ukulele players. Oh, there. ukulele is is brilliant. So, you were in uh, Africa. Was it South Africa or where? where, where yeah, yeah, South Africa at yeah. the time. Yeah. We was in Durban. We were we were based in Durban at uh, uh, the Malibu Hotel. Yeah. Um, there was a nightclub attached to it, mm. which we used to play in. Uh, and then we went up to Port Elizabeth and did a, a contract up there for a, yeah. uh, a place. Um, it was marvellous times. Well, I'm, I'm going to say well, probably one of my favourite gigs was South Africa, even though at the time there was all this nonsense with the apartheid yeah. uh, that was still going on. So yeah. there was a few little political problems yeah. knocking around. But, but we were oblivious to all that. Yeah, well, you were in we a were, place where it's. We were protected know. from it all and we were just. Yeah. The, you know, and you musicians. live a life of luxury in beautiful weather and oh, well yeah, paid. It yes. doesn't come much better, does it, really? Christmas Day on the beach. What more? Oh, how lovely! And mm. what was the name of the venue you were at? That was the Malibu Hotel right. in in, in uh, Durban. Yeah. And and the venue was uh, it had a strange name. It was called yeah. Your Father's Mustache. Your Father's Mustache. Yes, was the nightclub name. How weird! So we played there. <laughs> yeah, we played there for for. Uh, Six months. Well, listen, we're going to listen to you play another song for us in just a moment, but we're taking a quick break. Hi there, good to be with you. I'm chatting to Steve Davis today, multi-instrumentalist, uh, lovely singer as well, but he likes playing the old guitar better than the singing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had singing lessons or did you just do it? No, I just had to do it one yeah. day. Well, that was it? <laughs> that was it, yeah. Have you ever had a desire to do a booking that you've never done yet, that you haven't had yet? Have you ever wanted to be in the orchestra pit of a West End musical or have you done pretty much 
every booking oh, right. you want to? Um, that's a good question. That's because I'm I've, a good interviewer. It Steve. is. Yeah. Um, I've done most sorts of work. Yeah. I, I've I, I even twenty thousand seater. Yeah. I've done a big. Who did stadium. you do that with? That was in South Africa with Radiation. Right. Um, we had, we got on the same venue as Johnny Clegg, who was yeah. a big South African. You yeah. Know, oh yeah. Lady Lady uh, Lady Smith Black Mombasa. Oh. They were on with us. Uh, wow. They were top of the bill. I still never understand their name. Lady Smith Black Mombasa. No, I don't. Lady Smith, is that you, a you person? Know, Lady Smith's a town. A town? Yeah. And Black Mombasa? I don't know about that. Is a Mombasa yeah, that's yeah. black. Probably In fact, while like we're that. on the subject of this, this yeah. particular job, um, um, the, the, there were about nine, nine groups on all day. It, it was like a, a festival. Yeah. And uh, the press were all there at the front and blah, yeah. taking all the yeah. photos. Um, on on the night, yeah, uh, we we went on and did our set. We were second on second to last, third to last. Yeah, third to last. And what was your band called then? It was Radiation. 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 Yeah. And we had all the. We used to wear all this strange makeup and uh, glowing things, and we all were right. a robotic band. You know, right. uh, very much. You know, the Spandau oh, Ballet type. Oh, I know the type. Modern yeah. romantic band. Yes, yeah. yeah. So uh, we're playing away, and I used to do a lot, a lot of posing at yeah. those days because I, I was young and I yeah. used to really into it. Yeah. And uh, the next day, the 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 Durban, uh, I think it was called the Mercury, the Natal Mercury yeah. newspaper. I'm slapped all over the front page in a massive pose yes. with a guitar. Aww. Only me, nobody else. Yeah, clutched and, between and your all thighs. All the bands were fed up yeah. because they weren't in the paper. <laughs> all the big bands as well, just yeah. me, you know. So I, that was my, my little claim to fame yeah. in South Africa. Well, I did notice when we saw you in a clip before, <clears throat> you were giving it loads with your guitar. Oh, I used to pose a lot when I was young. Not, in, not so much. Oh, you do a bit not of a pose. You've still got a head of hair on got, you. Got you got can still a do a bit, a bit of a pose. Now, now and then, a bit of a rock, a bit of a Bon Jovi, you know. Yes, yes. But, um, yeah, I mean, so, 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 uh, when, what, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> <What's> the <laughs> <plot now? laughs> I said, is, have you ever done a booking or, or, or is there a venue oh, right, or, yeah, or a sure. job that you'd love to do but mm. you've never done yet? No, because like I've, I've back worked. Like Elton John or, you know. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Well, I've worked in, in theatre bands. Uh, yeah. Booking shows, West End shows, are type things yeah. that tour in the in the theatres. Um, I've worked solo, as you can see, in the restaurants. I've I've worked in holiday camps as a resident guitarist. Are they good um, fun, or is it like oh, Heidi High? It's very much like Heidi High sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Um, you we have used to have a lot of lot of. I was naughty on many occasions, <laughs> but not the stories that I can tell now. Oh God, uh, haven't you got one? No, no, they usually involve ladies, young girls, you know, girls and, uh, yeah. and, and drink. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, but, but that's, you know, that's uh, yeah. in my, my distant Actually, past. You were young, my lady. distant past, yes, yes, I was a youngster. Um, but I've done, I've done most sorts of venues and gigs that you can imagine. Yeah. Um, I, I quite, I wouldn't mind doing the, the, the sort of blues bars as a, yeah. a rock guitarist one day, blues yeah. guitarist. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would that, be, be fun in America, perhaps, or, yeah. or in Europe, perhaps, yeah. you know. Um, but, but as far as venues goes, I've. You've I've fulfilled done, your yeah, venue dreams. Yeah, I've done all the venues. I've just that made that word up, it doesn't really exist. <laughs> Technology's lovely. Listen, we're going to take a, a, a look now at another clip uh, of you. Mm. Uh, um, and this is, let's have a look at this. Oh, this is Rodrigo. Oh, one of my little classical things. Yeah, a little yeah, classical sure. thing. Here we go. Yeah.
he caught... Do you know what? That was Dan's fault. He wasn't keeping his eye on the time. And I was talking about someone called Joe Blonks, wasn't I? Yes. Thank goodness. Actually, I was doing a bit of a gossip then, a bit of a tittle-tattle. And I called this person Joe B Blonks to protect the innocent. Thank goodness I did. Oh, yes, but it was good. I'll tell you the rest of the story okay. later. <laughs> now, tell me, how did you get onto your first cruise? Right, the first cruise I ever did, um, at the time I, I'd been working in holiday camps as a, uh, a resident guitarist. Yeah. Um, and in those days you used to use the Melody Maker to get jobs. You could oh, look right. in the Melody Maker yeah. and there'd be musicians wanted. Um, so I, I got a bit fed up with working on the holiday camps. In the winter time there was no work, you see. So, yeah. so and I the chalets were cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to find a job for the winter, yeah, and yeah. what better than go schlepping off on a ship for, yeah, yeah. for six months. So, so um, I, I looked in the Melody Maker, I saw a, a band advertising for a guitarist. Yeah. Um, or it may have been the other way around, I may have advertised, I can't remember. Yeah. Um, but I got this, this, it was a small band, it was four piece, yeah. um, my first ever cruise. And I, I, um, I auditioned for the job, it was in London, at the time I was living in Essex, in Romford. Yeah. Um, and uh, I got the job, and off Great. we went. Where did uh, you go to? Well, we started off in Piraeus in Greece. It was yeah. a tiny ship, right. tiny, tiny cruise ship. How tiny ship. is tiny? How We're many talking passengers? 170 passengers. Oh, that's tiny, isn't it? It was. It yeah. was Britney ferries and things. They're, they're yeah. bigger. They're yeah. bigger. <laughs> it, this ship was small. Yeah. So we got on this ship, and um, it was my first ever cruise. Yeah. Um, it was all English entertainers. Yeah. But the the passengers were. Cosmopolitan, hmm. Germans, Italians, whatever, you know. Yeah. Um, and we, we set sail, we were supposed to be going to all these lovely places around the Med, and then we were going to go to uh, India, to the Far East, and Australia. On it this was a, tiny it was little a lovely, lovely little cruise, yeah. yeah a tiny little ship? Yeah, yeah. Well, we never got there. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so don't get excited because what oh. happened is a day into the cruise, yeah. we hit a massive storm in the middle of the Mediterranean. Yeah. Um, and it was the first night, it was Captain's Cocktail Night. Yes. We were all dressed up, yeah. you know, and all the people were in their posh frocks and yeah. things. And, and we, were, we were playing away, yeah. and the ship's doing this. Yeah. By and the it, way, I'd just like to point out to our viewers, this was a long time ago before stabilizers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quite, yeah. Don't yeah. put them off. Quite a I few years ago, yeah. 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 And, and um, you could see people going green. Yeah. Every, every minute, you know, yeah. including the band, yeah. and, and, and people were dropping like flies. And, and I lasted about 20 minutes or something, yeah. and I had to go to my cabin. Yeah. And apparently the band left one by one. And eventually <laughs> there was only the piano player left, and then he, he, had, he had to go, and yeah. that was the end of the night. Everybody yeah. had gone because everybody was so sick. Yeah. Um, and for three days we had a storm. It yeah. was three days it was like that, and, and the doctor was going around all the cabins. <gasps> oh, everybody was laid in the cabins, yeah. and they was putting jabs where they shouldn't, you know. Yeah. Um, so it was a disaster. Oh, a the first port we got to was Port Said in, yeah. in uh, Egypt, isn't it? Yeah. Is it Egypt? Um, yeah, Sounds Egypt. Egyptian. Yeah, it'll yeah, do. Egypt, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we, 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 we got off the ship, and then everybody was falling down <gasps> because we had no balance. Oh, of course. Because it had been rock and rolling for so long. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Everybody, was, everybody was, was falling over, and we found a little Egyptian bar and, yeah. and bought this horrible beer in a bottle. Yeah. With, you know, a bit uh, of Egyptian and, and this brandy. Is, this is the first little episode on yeah. that particular cruise. And then yeah. we, uh, it was okay for a couple of days. We went down the Suez Canal, yeah. beautiful, you know. Um, now the the because of the storm, something had happened to the ship. We yeah. didn't know we didn't know this, but um, when we got to the, the the end of the Suez Canal. You go to Yemen, yes. and then you should go over to, to, to India and yeah. what have you. Well, the captain, he steered the ship the wrong way, and yeah. we went down, and we ended up in the Seychelles. <laughs> at the, at totally off course, and, uh, and by this time... I the, shouldn't laugh, but... By this time, the passengers were not happy bunnies. But the Seychelles, if you end up in well, the Seychelles, beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous, I mean, we had a, it? Yeah, yeah, we had a nice time, um, but we were stuck there. Yeah. Uh, at this point, the, the, the ship, there's something wrong with the ship. Lloyds came out, the insurers, yeah. to, to look at the ship. We were tendered out... I think just what was off wrong with the ship? It was the captain, wasn't it? Well, I don't know what happened, but yeah. we were tendered out. All the passengers got fed up and they were all flown back to, to Germany and wherever they came yeah. from. So we were stuck on board with all the the staff, which was Greek Greek crew, yeah. uh, and there was just us, the band, yeah. uh, and a few dancers and things, you know. Yeah. And uh, 
they stopped feeding us. They they started they started just giving us. They were catching fish. I think they must have run out of food or something. You're they joking. I, <laughs> You're joking. joking. And this is my first. This is my first cruise. Oh. So I wasn't best pleased with really. no. it. I wasn't best. I mean, I, we had a nice time in Seychelles, but we had yeah. to get a little boat, a tender, yeah. to get on and off the island, the main island. And then after a few days, we. Um, Are you serious about the fish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were getting fed fish for the court. That day, yeah. Off I, the back of the boat. I mean, you pay a fortune for that. Nice <laughs> bit of fish. But nice yeah. bit of fish. Healthy. Yeah. Um, and then we 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 got. Uh, now what happened? I think we got flown back. Yeah. And that was it. It only lasted about a week. And that was your very first experience. First cruise, and it was supposed to be. Um, I think it was supposed to be something like a three-month cruise. Yeah. And it was a week. How disappointing, though. Well, exactly. How disappointing. The boys in the band, though, were saying, oh, you know, it's really not like this, and yeah. you're really having a bad first cruise, and yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. So that was my first cruise. Yeah. Disastrous. And then did you immediately try for another one? Because um, I know all the cruise, well, all the bands would have been chosen by them for the winter cruise. Yeah. So. Um, what happened then is, uh, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the drummer got another gig sorted yeah. out with the same agency, and we yeah. went off. Uh, somewhere else, I forget where, I think that was the Russian ship right. I was on. Um, but I, I had, uh, at that time in my life, I, I wanted to just play and see the world. Yeah. I, I didn't really care about earning money, I didn't, whatever money yeah. came, that was a, yeah. the bonus, you it know. Just, I yeah. wanted to go and have a fun time yeah. and see all the world for nothing. So I would always go for a foreign job if I could get yes, it yeah. in those days. Well, you um, sound like you had yeah. an absolute ball. You really, really did. Oh, I yeah. just want to remind our viewers one, one second, mm. Steve. Talking about cruises, if you want to go on one, we've got these two super um, brochures, um, Guide to Family Cruising and First Time Guide to Cruise Holidays. Call us on 0871423444 and we'll send you a copy. That'll cost you 10p a minute from a BT landline and other networks and mobiles, they will vary. They'll probably cost you a bit more. Or go on to www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk and these both tell you all you ever need to know about cruising. So there you go. Get your little diamond digits or your computer digits ready. So, uh, listen, we're going to come back to, uh, to you in just a minute. We're going to have a little break. Okay. Uh, warm up your digits because I want to hear you play more classical guitar. Oh, OK. Well, All I'll right. try. <laughs> so we'll be back in just a minute. Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm chatting to a multi-instrumentalist, very funny, very interesting man, Steve Davis. And Steve, you're going to uh, start off this final section by playing uh, something on your classical guitar. I'll have a go. And, and, I, and I know you enjoy doing the classical bit. Uh, this, this, this is just a popular, nice little fast poppy one, the entertainer rag. The entertainer rag, yeah. It was a, a, a probably sort of, better to finish there. I, I didn't realise it was an artistic hiatus. <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> no, don't worry. I mean, I made a few slips there. It's very warm in here. It's terribly warm. Sweating. I was going to apologise. It's, it's not probably not the best. The worst thing you can ever do is ask a it's classical not the best, guitarist uh, yeah. to play in a clammy-handed studio. It's not the but best. But that was absolutely <laughs> super. That 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 was absolutely lovely. Um, have you got your fingers insured, like Betty Grable had her legs insured? No. Have you not? No, sadly not. Another little story for you. Oh, go on, go on. About, uh, when was it? Last March. Yeah. Last March, I was walking out of a venue, instruments in hand, slipped over, instruments everywhere, fingers all cut, 
and a nice little bent finger I've got now. Look at that. Oh, your little finger. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hold that up and let's Can get a close up. Look, look at that finger. <laughs> show them, the, show them your that, other that's finger. That's how it should be. Here's the real one. No, it's <laughs> to this camera over here. Oh, that one is it? Right, yeah, okay. there you go. There look you go. at that. So. Oh, ow. <laughs> Now, fortunately, it's um, horrible. It's, it, yes, I mean, it, I did some damage to the tendons, but fortunately, yeah. it, it's it hasn't affected my playing because all the movements okay well, from it, this joint. Knuckle as well. Yeah, and and uh, it's better to be bent that way as a yes. guitarist than, than oh. the other way. So, so yeah, no. In answer to your question, no insurance. I think uh, you need to get out there and 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 ooh, get, I don't get know, the insurance. That cost me a lot of money, I bet. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, it's, this is, what's your what's your favourite part? And your and the worst part of being a professional entertainer. What's your favourite bit? Oh, um, I, I, I do like when I finish the show. I do like people to come and recognise mm. the fact that I've played instruments and yeah. I'm not just miming or yeah. or, or singing. Because it's live. You know, it's, it's it's live performance. Yeah. yeah. So I do when I get appreciated for being a a stringed instrument player, yeah. a guitarist. Then then I think that's what I enjoy the most, really. Yeah. Um, Worst part, Ooh. lumping the gear about, getting in the car, yes. going to work, yeah. just like a Monday yeah. morning. It's, yes, you it know, is, isn't it? When you're, in, when you're there, you're okay, yeah. but just motivating to get up and you go. Have, you go have quite work. a lot of instruments and a PA system and all of that to bring, do you? Some venues, I, 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 there's a PA provided and yeah. I just plug my stuff into it and yeah. others I have to take take a, 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 a PA round, you know. Right. So it's a bit of a drag yeah, It keeps me fit though. I, I yeah. look at it like it's positive because it keeps me fit. Well, I can tell you, you're an <laughs> exploded little mine of energy there you are, I can tell. <laughs> what about the travelling? Do you have to do a lot of travelling? Um, these days, n not so much. I, I work mainly around the southwest these days. Right, um, oh, that's not too bad. Southwest, Devon, Dorset, yeah. Cornwall, Somerset. Do you know, I really am dying to go to Devon, Cornwall, Somerset. I've never been to, I mean, I think I did when I was You've very, very little. You've never been down there? No. I've always wanted to see the Eden wow. Project oh, wow, in yeah, Cornwall, yeah. isn't it? Um, yeah, that's right. Just, I, and I've always wanted to go to Rick Stein's restaurant. That's somewhere down, down there, in, isn't down it? in Cornwall, isn't it? In that, Cornwall, yeah. yeah. Don't go there, go, come to Torbay. Oh, to, well, Torbay. Torquay, Tor 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 yes. and Brixham. Yes, um, oh, Brixham Crab. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, and you can get very good deals, Debbie. Very can good you? Deals down oh, there. I, do yeah, know. I must, sure. I must have a look at that one day. Mm. I really would like to go down there. With, with you having done so much travelling, I mean, what was, what's the most memorable cruise you've ever been on, Steve? Oh, um, I love the Caribbean, mm. and I've been on several Caribbean cruises. Yeah. So I think, I mean, without a doubt, going to the Caribbean. Yeah. I, I love beaches. I'm a very I'm, I'm a beach person. So you give me a palm tree and a coconut and a, yeah, and and a, and right. a coconut drink, and oh, I'm, I'm in my element. How so, lovely! So the Caribbean, yeah. So for sure. with you having been to so many, I mean, how many different cruises have you been on? Have you been on a lot? Uh, yeah, well, I mean over not, six. Yeah, over six, I should say. Yeah. yeah. So mm. if you have your choice of of a place to go on holiday because you obviously mm. you'll go on a holiday each year i presume mm. or every year or two mm. where do you choose to go to oh well these days i go to france mm. simply go simply because um there's a ferry from where i live in uh, near, yeah. near where i live plymouth yeah plymouth to roscoff you can get on a ferry six hours yeah um and also uh, i've got a little cottage in france oh how lovely how lo what what area uh, it's in Brittany. Oh, down down near Van. I don't know if you know the region. Oh, how it's about three hours from the port. So yeah, it's about nine hours. We we, we usually I usually get in the uh, a cabin overnight cabin. Yeah, but in the morning you wake up and you're there, and then yeah. it's a three hour drive. How uh, and that's, lovely! That's uh, where we where where we go. Yeah. Parlez-vous français? Mm. Un petit peu. Oh, oui, très bien. Oui, bien sûr. Oh, votre accent est <laughs> perfect. Well, I was, I was going to say perfecto. I was getting mixed up with my Italian and Spanish. <laughs> magnifique, <laughs> magnifique, my little, my très little bien, swamp dog. Merci, mademoiselle. <laughs> now, I was wondering, could you do a nice slow one for us, like Feelings? Because we were chatting about different songs that you play. Oh, um... And, I can try and busk that. Yeah, can sure. you busk it? Let's have a little go. Um, I, well, listen, it's up to you. Which would you rather do? Yesterday feelings, or feelings? We'll do feelings. Go on, we'll then. Do I like this.
beautiful. Thank they're you. all they're all clapping in the gallery and it's oh, really deafening me the down there. Oh, that was absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Lovely. So what what are your future plans, Steve? Where, where will you go uh, from My now? future plans? Well, uh, my, my show with the instruments is mm. the main thing that I, I like to, to, uh, yeah. to, 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 to perform So music mainly. around the world. Yes, yeah. uh, the cabaret show with, with the instruments, is so it's, it's fun as well. It's not just playing music, it gets the crowd clapping and, yeah. uh, and there's lots of razzmatazz with it. So, yeah. so it, it's, it's fun as yeah. well, as, even for kids, to be honest with you. It yeah. it's always, always goes well with, with people. Yeah. Um, so I just want to keep promoting that. Yes. Um, and, and have you got a website that people can get I have, to? yeah. yeah it's it? it's uh, www blah blah yeah. dot uh, it's steve hyphen davis. Right. dot co dot uk. Not steve hyphen davis. Steve the hyphen. Steve hyphen davis. Yeah, and the right. davis is D A B I S. I S. As opposed to right. I S. That's right. right. So steve steve hyphen davis. Yeah. So that's the that's the show at that. Co I dot co dot uk. Dot co dot uk. Right. Yeah. Okay. So Lovely. that's what I really like to do. Um, I do like the classical, so I, I do like to get uh, work, you know, as a classical guitarist as well. But this, that's far and few between, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's quite a specialised thing. Mm. So uh, if there's any bookers out there who want classical guitarists, lounge guitarists, let me know. Oh, I wish we lived well nearer because I'd have a warble with you. It would be lovely. Oh, yeah. Is there any string instrument that you haven't mastered of this ilk that you want to lay your hands on? Um, I, I've got. Uh, one that I'd like to put in the show, which I, I did put in the show last year, but yeah. it, it didn't work out quite well. So I, and what I is that one? Uh, it's a charango. It's a South a American charango. South American American instrument. Usually it was made. Well, traditionally it was made with an armadillo shell. Oh, I know the you one. You know the I've one. Seen uh, that. They've got I've ten strings. And I've they, seen that. I've seen little things like a South American ukulele. Really. I feel so sorry for the armadillo. Listen, Steve <laughs> Davis, thank you so much for coming. You're today. welcome. Brilliant. My pleasure. And from me, Debbie, until next time. Take care.